Yo. So I know I haven't done a video for like a long dang time, but I realized this makes a better video because I just thought of like the theme for this video could be all the things I've learned in these, in this almost week that I haven't made videos. Okay, exhibit A. I learned that my keys are sharp. I don't know if you can see it. There's a cut right there. It's not very bad anymore. But, um, Thursday night. See, this is, it's, oh, by the way, it is the 29th. It's Sunday. For like 30 more minutes. And, um, I was playing with my keys on Thursday. Me and Becca were talking. There's another story behind that. Um, but, you know, from Becca were talking, and I was just playing with my keys, and just tip of it one just scratched me just right and uh, it hurt and I was like ow and I looked like I just was a scratch but then I looked and it was bleeding profusely and I was like what the are you kidding me right now like it was bleeding like gushing blood and I was like I'm gonna bleed out right here right now it was bad and then like the scab ended up being nothing it looked like a, it looks like a cat scratch but it was really bad <laughs> and I was like ah like so, my keys are sharp, it hurt, like, really bad. You're gonna get really mad at me, um. But, I totally can't remember the other things I was gonna say that I learned. Um. I did my nails. They're Hello Kitty. Can you see it? Yay. Hello Kitty again. I love it. I love them. The thumb's the best, because it's so big. Copyright. I don't know if I ever talk about the copy paste game. I don't think I have. Okay, so if I say copyright in my videos, you guys are gonna be like, wow, Maddie, you're stupid. Um what I'm doing is there's this game that Brent's friend made up. And it's called copy paste. Or I think that's what they call it, but either way it goes like this. You know on a computer how you can right click and copy things and then paste them? Okay. It's the same thing. Only when somebody says something anything you can unless it's a quote okay here's the rules unless it's a quote I think that's the only rule and they have to finish their statement before you can copy them and if you say copy then whenever you say paste they have to say it again so it's best said with like things that would be that's what she said jokes like if somebody's something's like like funny like that you say copy and then later you make them say it at awkward times it's really funny um unless they say copyright after they say something, then you can't copy it. And, um, we got so into the game, like, I, I t introduced it to my friends, and we played it so much that I have to, like, watch what I say, and I'm like, copyright, copyright, like, after everything. <laughs> so if I say copyright, that's what I'm talking about. It's a really fun game. Um, but yeah. And I'm wearing my hat because I didn't feel like doing my hair today. <laughs> I learned... Good grief, I had like a big list of things in my head. I was like, okay, in my video that I make later, I'm gonna talk about these things. What else did I learn? I'm just gonna talk about my days. Um, I had a really good weekend. A really, really good weekend, actually. Um, no, Brent came home this weekend, I had my play. And it was really fun. It went great both nights. I mean, it went good. Not flawless, of course, but I mean, it went good. Like, here's the thing about play is like, oh, flawless is when everybody nails their lines and all that. Of course, that didn't happen. But what, like, a great play is, is like when if you mess up, you still go on and no one even notices. Like, no one in the crowd knew. No one in the crowd noticed. No one, no one noticed, so it was okay. It went really good. Um, Brenton came both nights. Um, it was really fun. Um, lots of people came to see me. Got fangirled afterwards. Um, I got a big hoop and holler the first night at stage, at a, on the stage at curtain calls, and um, I signed like 50 autographs for freshman girls. Oh, those kids, they cracked me up. And that was attractive.
I learned if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Um, I got my senior pictures and I edited them myself and they look good. And I'm gonna put them, oh right, I was gonna make a slideshow, okay. I like picked up like 20 that I really like and edited them. So I'll like make a little slideshow or something. Maybe I'll attach it to this video. <laughs> trying to set if I'm attached to this video. No, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna give it its own its own video. I'll do that sometime. If I if I don't do that for like a while, somebody like message me on Facebook or on here and be like, hey, you put that slideshow up, and get that done. And if I answer you and say shut the f up, um, sorry for being rude, but I'm going to be very busy for the next couple weeks. So if I don't get it done, please forgive me. I'll wait. When I graduate, I'll have time. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, um, learn I'm going to be very busy. I'm that I'm ready to move on. I'm just, I'm excited to be done high school, and I guess just, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just this routine, and I'm just, like, I'm just done. Like, I'm ready to be done with it. I'm done with this routine. You know. I'm not getting all sentimental on you. I'm not going to start crying. <sighs> Okay, I learned that. Gosh, I had some great things I learned. Okay, I learned that this thing that Brenton is, bought me for my birthday, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to like it 50. Like, that's how good it is. Like, he told um, Brie what it was, and she's, like, so excited. And she said, I'm going to piss my pants when I see it, and I'm like, great, but I told everybody, um, all I want for my birthday is an eye touch and a live Hello Kitty. <laughs> I'm not kidding, someday I'm getting a white cat, I'm putting a bow on its head, and its name is going to be Hello Kitty. Yeah, and I'm not even being, like, any kind of joking. I'm, I'm so freaking serious right now. It's happening someday. It is. It's going to happen. Get over it. <laughs> no. But yeah, I need an eye touch. I don't need one, but I really want one. So I should get one. Um, I need to decorate my cap for graduation. Hello Kitty is probably going to be on it. This afternoon, I learned my mom had planned a little surprise party for me for my birthday, even though my birthday is on Wednesday. In three days, I'll be 18. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. It's crazy stuff. Um... Yeah. So, like, people showed up, and Mom broke out the Hello Kitty cupcakes. Um, and all the cupcakes have, like, those little rings on them, like, that are Hello Kitty. And, uh, and, uh, you know, of course, I was like, if anybody doesn't want theirs, I'll keep it. So I have, like, 15. Because <laughs> nobody wanted theirs. <laughs> of course, because they're like, Hello Kitty's my nice thing. She can have them. So I'm going to bling them out and stuff and make them look all cute. I'm so excited. Maybe I'll make you know like oh my gosh, I just thought of so many great things I could do with those those um with those Hello Kitty rings. Oh my See like I'm all like, oh I should do this, I should do that, like, oh this art project I could do, this would be so cool. And I and I think of a million great things I could do and I just don't have time to do that right now. And I feel like by the time I do have time I'll forget. <laughs> and I need to get a job. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do. So much. So much to do. I keep thinking, oh, this summer I'll have nothing to do. Yeah, right. I'm gonna try to get a job and work my butt off. I don't know. Go back to school tomorrow. It's my oh, it's my next to last Monday ever at school in high school, anyways. And if I go to Ozark, it'll be my last Monday like ever for a really long time. A really long time because I don't do school Mondays. I mean, it'll still be Mondays, but I won't have to go to school, which is exciting. But yeah, and Brent's mom got me 
some really cute jewelry. It's, like, not as big and gaudy as the stuff I usually wear, because I just like big jewelry. Like, I mean, like, little jewelry's cute and pretty, but for the most part, I don't see the point of it, because nobody really sees it, you know what I mean? Like, oh, it's, like, little charm on a necklace, but nobody ever sees it unless they get up in your grill. Like, I want a necklace that somebody could see coming down the road. <laughs> That's just me, you know? But she got me, like, this really cute stuff, and I really love it. This bracelet... See, it's like so simple. It's a little plate on it. It's got a little star charm on it. And it says, dreams become reality one choice at a time. I'm like, that's so perfect. It's like the perfect thing to have on my wrist to glance at every once in a while, you know? And, um, and then there was like, um, one with the Bible verse about love. It's a necklace. And then she gave me a toe ring and an anklet, which I don't usually wear foot jewelry, but why the heck not? Why the heck? Um, and, um, I learned that there's no, not a no shoes, no, no shoes, no service policy at a quick shop, because I walked in, it's a convenience store, I don't know if they have them everywhere else, but I think so, anyways, anyway, but, um, sorry, I keep messing with my hair, my bangs are being really today, like, getting in my eyes and stuff, so if I start crying, I'm gonna blame it on my bangs, because, they're poking me in the eye. Um, but yeah, I walked there today. We went there today and I had to go and I didn't have shoes on. And Brent had to get gas and I just went in there and Newbury got candy bars and I didn't have shoes on. And they didn't say anything. It's pretty cool. <laughs> what else did I learn? Gosh, I learned so much. I feel extremely educated. I'm really tired. Mm. And my I learned that my head gets really itchy when I wear these hats. Like all day I've been like, ah, I wanna itch my head, but I have a hat on. Here, look. I don't, did I show this off? I don't remember. So you been so long. I was knitting my rainbow yarn. And, um, I have black yarn, and I put them together, and this is what I'm getting. How awesome is that? Like, you can even see how great the colors are, because the light is kind of crazy here, but... It's, like, so bright, and it's... I'm, gonna, I'm making a hat like this one. And I'm gonna make a scarf, and I heard you can make fingerless gloves. That's totally happening. Okay, anyway. But yeah, so, I'm really excited for that, which again, like, I have time for that, Pfft. funny, funny stuff, um, yep, that's like a lot of what I learned, I mean, there's more to it, um, let me talk real quick, I'll tell a story about the yarn, that I was, I'll tell a story about yarn, and then I'll be done, on Thursday, when I caught myself with my keys on accident, um, it was after play practice, and went out to my car, and I'd been trying to, you know, get this, um, cause that yarn, the rainbow yarn wasn't in a ball. It was like in the skein, like the long thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just don't worry about it. But I had to untangle it. Cause usually you just pull like one of the strings out and it comes out and I can just like roll it into a ball. Yeah. I could not find it. The other end, I couldn't find it. So I had to unravel the entire thing just to find the center. Okay. Just like take it completely apart. And it, Somehow, this one part just tangled itself up to crap, and I could not get it untangled. So, finally, I just cut it off, and I ended up with two, like, two balls of yarn, you know, and, like, the similar size, and I was like, whatever. There's this center piece I just was gonna throw it away. But Becca I was like, oh, you know, I can untangle it. So, she picked it up, and she was, like, starting to untangle it. And then, uh, we had to leave, because our teacher was leaving school, and he kicked us out, because he had to lock the door. <laughs> and so, we were standing by my car, you know, and we were just talking, like, oh, she can get this, and then we'll leave, you know. And she's like, I'm not leaving until I get this. I'm like, yeah, I know, you know, we're stubborn children. Um, yeah, we ended up standing there for a really long dang time, like, hour and a half, uh, trying to untangle the yarn, and we never ended up getting it, either. We had to rip it. Eventually. And uh, I have that, I have it yarn, I have that yarn. I mean, there's two, like, long pieces. It was, like, just this one dot, I just, we just can't get it. And I told her, I'm not... I said, well, I'm going to make friendship bracelets for us out of that yarn so we can always remember this because we made so many memories. I mean, 
Ugh, I can't even share them all with you, but we were just, not, not that I can't, it just take too long. Like, we were talking about, you know, boyfriends, family, car wrecks, we would had, um, I was scared of everything, because it was dark, and we're standing outside alone, and the wind makes noises, and I jump at every sound, and she was making fun of me. So, it was just a lot of fun, so I need to make friendship bracelets for her before we graduate, too. Okay, but I'm gonna go now, I'm really tired.